Hi, I'm Jonathan at Martin Lynch and & Sons, and this week we're going to have a look at the entire range of DMR radios available from ourselves, all the way from the uh, TYT uh, MDUV380 through the Anytone handhelds uh, and also the Wuxon and the Anytone mobiles as well. So we've cleared off the desk and we're going to have a quick look through all of the various options. So we're going to start with both the TYT uh, MDUV380 uh, and the uh, Wuxon KG UVN2 which are two similar radios, but there are some uh, distinct differences. Let's uh, firstly start with the uh, MDUV380, which is the successor to the ever popular uh, MD380, which uh, you may have uh, come across before. I mean, the 380 has been around in this kind of format for, for quite some time. Uh, the new version is, of course, VHF, UHF, FM, and DMR. Worth noting with this is it does need to be programmed via a computer in order to put a co-plug into it. There's no ability from the front panel to start putting in frequencies. You need to be able to, you need to program it from a computer first. In the box, it does come with the programming cable, and the software is available from, uh, to download from our website. And that was the MDUV380. Uh, and the Wuxon KGUVN2 is actually manufactured by Wuxon to our specification. So it's got a nice color screen on it. Uh, again, similar to the TYT, it does need to be programmed via a computer. You can't to start putting frequencies in from the front panel. You do need to program it. Uh, but it also has the addition of a, a light on the top. Uh, it's got the uh, SMA mail on the um, on top of it, similar to the Anytone radios we're about to see, uh, rather than the uh, female as per the uh, TYT. Uh, but again, it's a nice solid object. It feels great in the hand, uh, well made. It's got Wuxon uh, build quality behind it, which we know they uh, make some fantastic rugged radios. Uh, and again, the reason I pulled these two out initially is because they're both under £100 uh, on the website right now, hamradio.co.uk. Moving on to the uh, Anytone range of handhelds, we're going to start with the uh, ATD868. Uh, we also have uh, the ATD878 and 78 Plus, uh, and also the new ATD878 UV2 Plus. Now, we did a video not long ago uh, explaining some of the differences between these. So if you want to have a, sort of a more in-depth um, difference as to what these do, uh, then uh, go and please have a look at that. But takeaways really, uh, ATD868, cheapest in the Anytone range, gets you going. Great if you just want something simple uh, for a hotspot. Uh, the 878 and 878 uh, Plus uh, adds uh, uh, transmit APRS and on the Plus adds Bluetooth. And then on the version two, uh, you get receive APRS up to 500,000 contacts and up to 10,000 talk groups. That's sort of the main differences in a nutshell. The advantage of these over the two we've just seen is that they do have a VFO mode, so you can manually type in a frequency from the front panel. Uh, and they're a, a really nice rugged uh, radio, to be honest with you. Got plenty of customizable buttons. You've got two on the side there, as well as P1 and P2. You can customize to your own choice as to what they do. And that's the same across all of them. The software is really easy to get along with. And uh, if you just want a radio that, I mean, I have the, personally I have the 878, because uh, I use it with my uh, Sunspot Hotspot for DMR. It works absolutely great. And um, on the Brandmeister network, on uh, either Talk Group 91 or uh, uh, or on uh, 3100, the US talk group, uh, there's always activity and you can almost always get a contact as well, uh, what, no matter what time of the day or night. So, uh, Anytone handhelds, all available from stock right now. And now we'll move on to the Anytone mobiles. We've got the two versions of the 578. Now we've got the uh, ATD578 Pro and the ATD578 III plus and there are a few differences between them but uh, as you can probably tell by just having a quick glance at the radio there's no real differences externally and i'll hold both of them up here so they look very much the same uh, front panel and if we spin them around the back again they look very similar on the back as well so externally they're essentially the same radio i've now i've now messed up which one's which that one's that one and that one's that one lovely so the, here are the main differences. The ATD578 Pro is much in the same lines as the ATD878 and the 878 Plus. It's got Bluetooth on board. It's uh, got 50 watts output power on both two meters and sims. Again, we're using uh, the uh, microphone it comes with. Uh, you can manually type in a frequency into the, uh, into the radio, so it's got a proper VFO mode. Again, you can program it using programming software, programming cable in the box, 
software downloadable from our website. Uh, it's got Bluetooth as I say, and it also comes with the Bluetooth PTT button in the box. If you want a radio for the car to pair with your, uh, maybe your, your Bluetooth enabled stereo in, in the car, uh, this would be the one to go for. However, there are some improvements when we look at the 578 Plus. So with the 578 Plus, you get both transmit and receive APRS, same as you do on the new uh, 878 UV3. Uh, it's still got Bluetooth on board, but now also has those improvements uh, that the 878 UV3 Plus does with uh, the 500,000 contacts up to 10,000 torque groups. Uh, and also, here's the nice one here, it's now got airband receive as well. It's the only Anytone radio on the, uh, in the field that does do airband receive. So if you want a, a true sort of all-use um, all radio in the car, so for, both for FM, DMR, and also airband receive as well, uh, the ATD 578 UV3 Plus is the one to go for. So now that we've covered the units themselves, I just want to talk very quickly uh, about some of the accessories for the radios. And it's a question we often get asked, not just about these radios, but about radios in general, about all the accessories. Now, we generally list all of the accessories in the uh, product accessories uh, bit on the website. So if you go to any of these products on the website, take the, the uh, ATD878, for instance, if you were to go to that page, and on the right-hand side, there's a box where it says product accessories. In there, you'll find things like uh, the battery eliminators, speaker microphones, uh, alternative antennas as well. Uh, they're all in that box, but that goes across the website. So regardless of whether you're buying something DMR or, or maybe an HF radio, the accessories will always be in that box on the right-hand side of the page. So if you wanted to add a filter to an HF radio while you're buying it, uh, you can do that there as well. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, click subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and click that bell notification icon and you'll get a video notification every time that we upload a video or go live because don't forget we still do our, our weekend webcast on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, so make sure that you're subscribed on YouTube uh, with that uh, bell notification enabled in order to get uh, the notifications when we go live as well. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the Something for the Weekend mail outs that we do, you'll get a personal email almost personal email from us every week, uh, make sure you do that. Go to hamradio.co.uk, scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's a yellow banner, pop your email address in there and you'll get an email from us once a week on a Friday, uh, just reminding you of what we might have in stock that might take your fancy. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.